children of God. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am blessed. I'm happy to be in the presence of God. Um, the program that brought me to my name is Mildred Kwama. I'm from Woodmead. Um, I came to Shaitaina three weeks back, let's say three Sundays ago. And then I was in the prayer line and the prophet, Prophet Isaka, prayed for me and I was delivered. Now, my problem started in 2021 when I was told that I had fibroids. And then in that very same year, my mother fell sick. Um, after a short illness, she then passed on. And then um, that's when my trouble started. I was um, paining all over my body. I I couldn't breathe well. Um, I had shortness of breath. I had pains all over my body. I had pain that um, resonated from the back to the chest wall in the front, um, right through the heart. And then I just had pains and it felt like there was a lot of heaviness um, on me. And sometimes I would be waking up, getting out of bed, could not step on the floor properly because my feet would be paining me. My um, sister, as a young lady in the in peak of her career and destiny, when the doctors broke this sad news to you about fibroids, knowing the consequences of fibroid, how did you feel as a person? I was very distraught because my doctor at the time told me that the only solution for me, I could not do embolization. Um, that means them just putting in injections and um, melting or shrinking them. He said the only option you have is um, operation. And I couldn't. I was like, I can't go and be operated. So in 2022, you were still stressing the same thing. You need to operate. You need to operate. You need to get them out because you're never going to have um, the fullness of life that you're looking for. Um, you're always going to be complaining of sicknesses and pain here, pain there. Um, so then I started praying and I prayed. I prayed a lot to God. I was asking God, but Father, there must be another way. I cannot go and do um, an operation. I can't. Um, I had seen people go into hospital in my family and they never came back. <laughs> So I was praying hard. I was like, Father, I'm not going to hospital. I don't. And I actually addressed it with my doctor. I told him, I've got short breath. I've been telling you about this. He said, no, you will tell the guy when he operates, they'll just do a blood transfusion for you. Um, because at that time, which was last year in 2023, um, in the, not December, um, October, when I went to do a checkup and took blood, I didn't have um, a lot of blood. Um, I wasn't even able to produce enough oxygen to actually go into the heart because of the anemia that I had because of the fibroids. I think at the time I was at 0 0.2. So then he put me on a program. He said, let's take you through this for three months. Come back in January and let's see how you've picked up. And I went My sister, back. when was the first time of coming to Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry? I came to Shakaina um, three Sundays ago. I can't remember the date. That's your first time of coming to this ministry. First, first time. Let us clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> for matter of clarity, how many doctors have you visited? Sure. <laughs> I went to two gynecologists. I went to the... I can't remember what they call the doctor does the screening of the womb where he checked how many are bought and how big the fibroids actually were. And then apart that, I was in and out of my doctor's office getting pain medication, but nothing was helping. There was no solution. So, and when you came to Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry, you were on the prayer line. Am I right? Yes. I Let us now watch the clip and see the encounter of our sister when she was on the prayer line, when the servant of God prayed for her, 
And to the goodness of God, today we are watching her here. Okay, look at me. Say, say I rewrite my history. I rewrite my history. Say it again. I rewrite my history. Say it again. I rewrite my history. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy day. Holy day. Touch your stomach. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Watch out. The Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for you have taken the handwritings of the enemy. Thank you for taking out the handwritings of the enemy that were against me. The Lord Jesus Christ. Lord thank Jesus you. Jesus Christ, thank you. So right now, right here, I'm healed. Right now, right here, I'm healed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Out of heart, you witch, you witch and power. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 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 Is that your stomach or your chest or your neck or your waist? All over. All over. Is that your stomach? All over. All over your body. All over your body. Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Speak out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? What have you done to her, you wicked man? What have you done to her? Why do you follow her to this place? Leave her. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Speak out. Who are you? Speak out right now. Who are you? Leave her. Who are you? Who are you? Speak out. Fire all over my body. Fire your head. Your head. Your head. Fire inside your head. Fire your chest. Fire your chest. All over. Anywhere you are located in that body, inside your stomach. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Fire inside your stomach. Inside your stomach. You cannot destroy her. Right now, take your things out. Take it out. I said, take it out. Take it out. Take that. Take out all that belongs to you. Take it out right now. I said, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take out your things. Take it out. 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 Take it right now. Right now. Right here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All over your body. All over your body. Now go. Go. Out in the Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. Mighty name. Thank you, Father. Can everyone say amen? Make the clapping wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My sister, you've been in this issue for years, and all of a sudden you came to a church and somebody is praying for you. You didn't even see him physically, and you've met doctors physically. They gave you words of encouragement, and this man praying for you. You didn't see him. You are just watching on the TV and seeing him. Bearing in mind it's your first time coming. How did you feel at that point in time? At that point in time, um, I already knew before I came that the man of God was not going to be here. But I believed that even through the screen of television, he was going to heal me. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Let us make the clapping wonderful children of God. Indeed, 
Prophet Issachar is not the healer, but he knows the healer. God uses him to heal the sick, to restore the downtrodden. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> after the prayers, you went home. What happened? So after the prayers, um, even before I went home, I could already feel light. I felt like the load uh, was lifted off of me. Then I went home. And then, um, as always, the devil will try and convince you otherwise. Ah, that didn't work. You're so sick. So I continued applying the oils um, the way they had told me to apply. Um, I also took water. Yes, um, this is the oil that I was applying. And then I applied it to my navel, my forehead, my feet. So I was anointing every single morning and every single night. And then the water I also took and I would drink the way they had told me to drink the water. Just a few drops, you know, um, calling out to the name of the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then um, after a week, I could fall because my body was actually very, very numb. It felt as if I had blisters inside my body or my skin that I could not see. It was very, very painful. I could feel that that was not as, as, as vigorous as it was. It was much, much better. And then I continued applying and applying. And then, and then, um, on, and then after the second week, I could fall. I could, my chest was, was, was okay. There was nothing blocking it. There was no short breath. There was no pain that was piercing through straight into my heart, like something was just sitting there. I felt lighter. I could actually run up the stairs at work, which before I couldn't. I could, it's just, um, the parking is on the um, first floor. So I would actually take the lift to take me to third floor every single time from second floor. I just felt out of breath and tired every time. And then I was like, wow, I can run up. Um, I'm having no issues. And I am... Let us clap for Master Jesus. Yes, and then um, came the issue of the fibroids. I was experiencing pain a lot. and But after the man of God prayed for me, I had lightness even in my abdomen section. Um, there was no pain. I was just light, light, light. I was like, wow, this can only be God. And then um, last Sunday, uh, my plan was to come to church and attend the service. But then I had my monthly flow. So all of a sudden, on Sunday morning when I was sleeping, um, I woke up in my spirit. I was singing um, in my spirit. I overcame, I overcame. He said it's finished. Amen. And that's a song by Amen. Ada. Amen. As I woke up, well, I was still sleeping, singing in my spirit. And then I felt that there was a whole lot of wetness on my bed. I'm trying to find out what is happening. As a father, but I can't be having such a heavy flow after the deliverance from the men of God. I'm, if I can't trust you, God, to heal me from fibroid, who else can I tend to? And then I went and did whatever I was doing. I went back. I think it was around half past three at um, yeah, early hours. I went back to bed. I slept. And then I wake up and I'm, there's witness again. Like, what's happening? And then all of a sudden, I see certain gush of um, water and other fluids and blood and clots coming out. Amen. I couldn't Amen. even get to the bathroom at that time. There was, just, um, there was just a mess all over the floor, blankets, and wow. <laughs> Let us watch the screen. Can you clap for Master Jesus as you look onto the screen to see? You are not clapping, children of God. Can you watch the screen? 
Can you scream? You are not screaming, children of God. Children of God, you can see the particles, the cloth that was the demon, the fibroid disturbing our sister for the past three, four years. And when she came here, she was opportune to be here on the prayer line. Just like we know that distance is not a barrier, three weeks, she's here today to testify to the glory of God. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. My sister, after this encounter and all you see that God have done for you, what are the other experiences? What are the other changes you have experienced in your business, in your workplace, in your career? What are the other things you have seen God have perfected in your life? Um, one thing I noticed, first of all, people were much nicer. They were nicer, more friendly, even at work, even strangers that I don't know on the street. Like, they were just nice. It was as if a veil had been lifted. Yeah. And um, besides my physical energy and, and you know, just my physical demeanor, I felt great. I felt really, really great. Let us clap for Mother Jesus. Can you just touch your stomach to show us there's no more pain? Touch it. No more pain. The pain is gone. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Um, one other thing that was there was I couldn't sleep on my left hand side because of the pain that permeated through the arm and it was swollen. But now that's also gone. I sleep like a baby. My sister, we thank you so wonderfully for sharing this glorious testimony with the children of God here present. And uh, there are millions of people who are suffering who never believe that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can do the same thing he has done for you today. What is a word of advice and encouragement to people in this category? Uh, my word of advice is um, even if things are tough, you know, you do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's no reason to run from God. You get on your knees and you pray. Amen. And you believe that Master God will do it for you. <laughs> Let us clap for Master Jesus. Sister, I thank you so much for this sharing of your, this wonderful testimony. You can see that God of now has set you free through your faith, believing in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Many more testimonies will come. Testimony upon testimony. You will come. Next week is too far for you to come before the presence of saints here present to give us another wonderful testimony. Look unto the giver of this testimony, not the testimony itself. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will visit you again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.